All right, so in this video, we're gonna load some plans into our BuildExact account. But first of all, we're gonna have a look at how to do that with the sample plans that BuildExact provides. Then we're gonna have a look at loading PDF plans of your own. After that, we're gonna have a look at the two different scaling options that you can use to calibrate your plans correctly. So into my BuildExact account over here, I'm in the plans and takeoffs tab already, and I'm gonna focus first of all on this use sample plans button. Now the reason this can be good uh, for some of the cases or for some of you at this point is you might just be wanting to get through this, this plan step and you just wanna to get to the takeoffs part or you just wanna start playing with the costings and the quote letter and you're perfectly fine using some sample plans for that. If that's you, um, you can absolutely go for this option. It will load a pre-scaled set of plans and uh, you will then not need to actually do any of the scaling. If on the other hand, you're using your own plans or you want to learn the scaling process, then upload a plan is a better option. And if you're doing this, it's gonna pop open from the left, ask for you, for you to, uh, to provide the plans, either drop drag them into this box or click and find. Personally, I click and find, it's just a personal preference. And know that you can click and hold uh, to, to highlight multiple plans if you ever need to. So I'll grab that. It will give me the option to import multiple uh, multiple pages of the set, i.e. literally chop out some of them if I need to. So I could say page one, three, and five. That can be particularly useful if you're given a big set of plans and uh, you're only having to deal with a certain number of those pages and you just wanna chop the rest of them out. Uh, that's a great feature. Once it's ready to go, it's gonna say, hey, do you wanna scale these plans now? And personal preference, I say cancel. There's not really anything wrong with going to confirm and scale straight away. The reason I cancel is I would much prefer to rotate and name and give them just a bit of a cleanup before I kind of do anything else. So I can use the rotate buttons. I can use the delete buttons. I can uh, rename as well. So I'm actually gonna do that right now. So this is my floor plan. And I'm gonna do the next one. So for me, this next page is going to be elevations. Lovely. Now when I'm ready to go, I've done my cleanup. I hit the scale plan button here and it then gives me the two options as far as the scaling is concerned. Option number one, you can go to wherever it's located, usually in the corner, and see what the architect has said as far as the scale goes. So this one's one to 100. We've got the majority common metric and imperial scales in here. So I'm gonna go one to 100. Apply to this plan, or you can apply them to all the pages. And it's gonna say, hey, look, double check that this is correct. Uh, there's, and just a, as a, a side note here, um, where plans have been um, resaved uh, and maybe the page, the paper size has been cut a bit or even if they've been scanned, um, it can throw a bit of a wrench in this mechanism because what we're doing is um, working off the standard size of, an, of a one to 100 page. So I'll show you now just how to check that. So if you go confirm, it'll go scaled to one to 100, and you can instantly go and draw lines all over the page as a way of checking. So I might go, I'll zoom in a bit, I might go like there to there, oops, click and click, and 2.7 or almost, uh, I missed that by a bit of a fraction, so not quite on, but uh, for me, that's telling me that it's calibrated to the right scale, and that's, that's what I'm after. If you did need to, you could absolutely rescale. Moving on to the other page, I'm gonna say instead of common scale here, I'm gonna say manually scale. And it's gonna take me to the steps up the top. So step one, draw a horizontal line on the plan below. Roughly translates to go find the longest horizontal line you can find or horizontal dimension you can find. 
That is 13920, 13920 in millimeters. Next, do the exact same thing for a vertical. Reason it's better to go longer uh, is if you miss this by just a fraction, it's not such a big deal because a couple of millimeters out of such a long line is almost nothing. And again, you can apply to all plans or just to one plan. Uh, so I'm gonna say apply just to this plan and scaled to a manual scale. Obviously it can't figure out the exact scale based off that, uh, but it's a manual scale and this one's one to 100. I'm gonna close and all my plans are now ready to go. Perfect, as always, if there's any questions, let us know, but that's how you get your plans in and get them scaled. Thanks so much. Thank you.